deformity correction planning. Deformities are planned on full-length standing radiographs with the patellae facing forward. Deformities are traditionally planned on the paper tracing of these full-length standing radiographs which are then analyzed, planned and cut out to correct the different deformities. More recently, technology has advanced and the deformity planning can also be done on apps. However, for the purpose of this lecture, we will learn it the traditional way. To better understand the alignment and joint orientation, the complex 3D shape of bones and joints can be simplified to basic line drawings similar to stick figures and this is why we need to know how to draw lines. There are two simple ways to make a line. The first method is to connect two points in space. The second method is to draw a line through a point at an angle to a pre-existing line. So in this example, we have a pre-existing line. There is a point which is predefined and the new line is drawn at an angle which is the alpha. So with this basic knowledge of how to draw lines and angles, let's start with deformity analysis. Deformity analysis is a stepwise approach. It consists of initial screening which includes measuring the mechanical axis deviation. Then we assess the joint orientation angles and then we pick the deformed bones. Once the initial screening is complete, we do the pre-op planning which consists of finding the apex of the deformity, planning the bone cut and planning the axis of correction. So let's start the initial screening. Our first step is to measure the mechanical axis deviation. 